Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. I want to wish every single one of you guys happy hollows. Um, not hollows eve. <laughs> happy holidays. We are right at the cusp of all the holidays and I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, let's get into your reading Virgo. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to your love and romance for this month remaining of November going into the first week of December. All right, Virgos, you guys have the King of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Five of Cups, Partner, Person of Interest, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Six of Wands. Okay. All right, Virgos, let's see. So you're definitely wanting to hear or wanting to communicate with a person uh, where perhaps there is some lack of communication or there's been lack of communication for quite a while for some of you guys. Uh, with the King of Wands, you may be dealing with fire energy. Um, this could be a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo type of energy. I also have earth here as well, water um, and fire. So we kind of have all the signs here. What they're saying here is the way you're viewing the situation, you're feeling like you were left out in the cold or you feel like things have not progressed the way you wanted them to. Um, with the four of swords, it's like internalizing what's going on, what happened. I see you really missing um, missing a person or the you know your partner or this could be an ex-lover that you were waiting to hear from. Now, what they're telling you is you need to get out of your own head, Virgo, because I do see communication coming through. Uh, but I think that you are putting resistance. I see you guys so much like internalizing, going through it in your head. And the more you think about it, the more you kind of close yourself off and you don't allow the energies to flow organically. So in reality, what you're doing is you're kind of resisting for the energy to flow organically, to be able to see the movement that you're wanting. So you got to get out of your own way, Virgo. Now, the way the person is viewing the situation, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there is some type of commitment, some type of offering that's coming through with the three of pentacles. Uh, this is talking about really being able to clear out things that they needed to work on, things that perhaps they are still currently working on because they want to get it right. So what I mean by that is for some of them, it could have been that they were dealing with ex, you know, people from the past. It could have been that they were dealing with, um, you know, the feeling of, do I really want commitment? Do I really want to settle down? Or do you do I want to continue dating around or etc.? So it's all of this that's happening with them is like they're starting to become emotionally available. They're starting to become drawn to you. Like they are going to get to the point of feeling certain about what they want in this connection. And that's the reason it's been taking a while for them to reach out because they don't want to communicate before they're ready to say, you know what, let's 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 try to work it out. Let's make it. Let's see where we can take this relationship or this connection. Um, but I definitely do see them making way with the six of wands. It's a feeling of I'm going to go after what I want and I'm moving on. It's like they're certain and, and they're done dealing with past people they're done dealing with things from the past and all the while they're doing self healing and they're doing self work on themselves you're over here falling apart you're over here crumbling when in reality what you should be doing is working on yourself as well virgo um the king of wands is that that exudes confidence it is about believing in yourself it's about what is it that you're really scared of? Is, is it that you fixated on this person? Because in reality, what you need to work through is the feeling of abandonment. Maybe that's something that's been constant in all your previous relationships where now 
the moment someone rejects you, it's almost like you over obsess over them because of that rejection, because you don't want to feel that rejection. Um, so it's kind of like you going towards people that are emotionally available that will eventually um, not be ready for what you're wanting. So this is some time that you need to be working on yourself for self-healing, Virgo. Uh, instead of putting all your energy and effort towards the missing, towards the what did I do wrong, where can I fix it, what they're telling you is work on yourself. Work on your self-worth. Work on knowing exactly what it is that you deserve. When you do this, you're focusing on yourself. Therefore, you're allowing the energies to flow the way they're supposed to. There's no longer resistance in the communication that's coming through for you. Now, the final message here is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this is exactly what they're saying. I think that for some of you guys, if there was like some type of separation or some type of time away from the partner or person of your interest, I feel that both of you guys have a lot of unresolved issues that you're currently dealing with, whether you want to or not. And the universe is bringing up situations or circumstances that are going to force you to work on that. Because when you work on that, you're able to overcome or heal that part of you that could be toxic and you're not even aware of it because it's so engraved on a subconscious level so working on forgiving and learning you learned your lesson for some of you guys it could be attachments codependency type of energy um and the moment you refocus that energy back to yourself and you start healing yourself and you start working on yourself, then this person comes back around and, and they, they're not only coming back, they're coming back with some type of offering, some type of commitment here. So I hope this gives you guys some type of clarity and insight. Um, again, like I said, I wish you guys the very best for these holidays to come. You guys stay safe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.